Hello YouTubers, and um, I've been noticing a lot of comments on my video on how to use your PS3 controller on your PC to play games. Okay, so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to map your controls and do all that stuff. So, load up the DSV tool that you downloaded and installed in the previous video. Um, then right here on this page, go down to Custom and click the little radio box which is the little circular box and then go to the right and click create now this is all the options that you're gonna have for let's say the start button could make it you can make the start button press escape on the keyboard but maybe I don't want to do that okay so let's start from the very top um, I'm just gonna be using Call of Duty controls or you know the controls that I'm more used to since I don't really know much controls for my, m for many games I'm um, I've just you know haven't played a lot of uh, PS3 games anyways uh, triangle would be switch weapons which would be um, whatever it is on the PC I think it is like a two or one or something like that so if it, if that's the case uh, click keystrokes on the left side and then on the right side you click the drop down box and you click one or two or whatever one you have it set to change weapons for circle that is prone or crouch or whatever um, you change it to keys, uh, keystrokes and then you go over here and change it to control or C I believe or something like that for your crouch or whatever else button. For X is usually jump or something similar to that. So on the PC, jump is usually space. So go to keystrokes, space. Square for um, Call of Duties is reload, and that's usually a keystroke R. So whatever you're doing over here, like say you press the triangle button. When you press the triangle button, it'll press the keystroke 1, or it'll pretty much um, virtually press 1 on your keyboard. L1, aim down sights, which is right mouse click, so go to mouse button, right button. Um, R1, which is uh, shoot, mouse button, left button. And if you hold that down, it will... Um, down the mouse button and it'll shoot continuously. L2, that is uh, throw um, tactical grenades or whatever it is. And um, you could just set that to keystrokes. I think it's Q. And then R2 is throw lethal grenades and that is a mouse button, the middle button. Or whatever you have it set to. Of course, you're going to map these for your own games or whatever. But I'm just making these for uh, Call of Duty. Um, the select button brings up the uh, scoreboard, and that can be accessed on the PC by hitting the keystroke tab. Or uh, tab, yeah, tab button. L3 is sprint, and you sprint by uh, shift on the PC. So change that to keystrokes shift, or left shift. R3 is melee, <coughs> melee, um, that is, I don't even know, is it F, no it's E, okay, so E, and then the start is, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's keystrokes escape, okay, so the PS button, you can have that also set to keystrokes escape, because um, they're pretty similar. The up on the D-pad, um, that is, for Black Ops, it would be like a Claymore or something like that. Um, I don't really know how to pull those out on PC, but if it's like 4 or something like that, then you would press 4 to the corresponding buttons on the PS3 controller. Um, I'm not going to set the D-pad controls because I don't know any of them. But here's the part where some of you might get confused but there's a little tiny picture over here uh... it says L 
and that means left analog stick, and there's four L's. The top one is an L that has a little tiny yellow arrow above it that's pointing up. The second one is a uh, L with a tiny yellow arrow pointing right, and so forth. This one you would set to W for most uh, first person games. So change that to keystroke W, for Call of Duty at least. And left analog stick um, right, that would be keystroke um, D or right. Uh, left analog stick down would be keystroke S. And then left analog, analog stick left would be keystroke A. For the right analog stick, you would set the mouse axis, which would make it to where it virtually moves your mouse whenever you move the right analog stick. Okay, so the right analog stick, whenever you move it up, you will make it a mouse axis um, up. Um, of course, if you have inverted, if you like to use the inverted controls, make this uh, down and so forth. Or you can just set it up and call it. Um, Call of Duty options or whatever you have there. For the right analog stick moving right, you would set mouse axis um, right. Um, right analog stick down, mouse axis axis down. Right analog stick left, mouse axis left. Uh, the front tilts. This um, this isn't taken. Um, taken advantage of in most uh, games for PS3. Uh, it's taken advantage of a little bit in Little Big Planet, Little Big Planet 2. But pretty much when you tilt the controller front or back or left or right, um, you could set it to where it does certain things. I'm not sure if this works on PC because I really don't know what game you would really use that for. Unless you get Little Big Planet on your PC for some reason or somehow. Okay, anyways, after this, you're going to want to make sure that you click save at the bottom. Then you're going to want to create a name for it. And in this case, I'm going to say Call of Duty. And then just click save. And then if you ever want to use this, um, you can just click open Call of Duty OK. And then you can edit them if you want. Now, back at the profiles, or the main page, um, to set it to where all these controls go into effect, you're going to want to change the radio box down to custom. And then you want to gonna click enable. Of course, I don't have my PS3 controller plugged in right now, but that's what you'd do. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or um, need any help, uh, please leave a comment in the description, or not the description, the comment section below. Uh, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.